Okay, Brooke, you're on. I don't know how long I'll be on, um, but because of a recent situation, I thought maybe... I heard my phone go off. I was seeing if it was Brooke answering. I uh, thought maybe Brooke could, you know, use the support and... Uh, um, positivity as much as, you know, as positive as I can make it. Um, and I'm, I'm low on energy myself today, so I don't, I don't know if I'll even just realized I had the volume down. Jeez. Anyway, um, this is mostly for Brooke, but, you know, anybody else that can pop on, especially any of my subs, you know, you're welcome to do so. Brooke just, uh, she was in the hospital, or her little boy was in the hospital the other day. I won't say which one. I'm trying to keep things kind of on the personal vague list, meaning not get too personal. Because this is her kids, you know, and this is public, so she might not want everybody to know what's going on. But uh, he's okay. He's home now. Um, so that's good. Uh, I hope that everybody's doing okay. Um, I feel really bad for her because she hasn't been able to get her shop up and running because TikTok is S-H-I-T. They are a waste of time. They rip you off. They control your every move, so to speak. They watch your live streams and if they see something they don't like, then they penalize you, they flag you, they get you banned. Um, I just, I don't like the way they do things. And I went ahead and canceled my subscription. And I don't know if I canceled, ended up canceling my TikTok as well, but I canceled my subscription that I had with Brooke because, not against her, but because I don't like TikTok and I think she should dump them and go through somebody else to get her business going. She still has trolls that keep showing up and ruining things for her, getting her flagged, getting her banned, um, you know, lying, I'm sure, about a lot of stuff and fabricating stuff and, you know, saying that she's doing stuff she's not doing just to get her in trouble and get her banned. And, you know, whoever's doing this, I, I'm getting so sick of their crap, you know, doing this to my daughter because they seem to be H-E double toothpicks on bent on getting her in trouble and getting her forever banned. So I just don't think she should go through TikTok anymore. They're a waste of time. I won't ever go through them again. And if it means canceling my TikTok subscription altogether to where I'm not even on there, then that's fine by me. Because I mostly got on there because, you know, a lot of other friends were on there. Um, Brooke was on there. But, you know, I just, if, if my people that are on there are having troubles like Brooke, then I don't want to be on there and I don't want to associate myself with them because they're, they're doing people wrong. And I would never, you know, do my business through them because I see what they've done to my daughter. And they've taken away her only source of income. Therefore they're taking food out of my grandbaby's mouths and I don't like it. And they're taking food out of her mouth and she's struggling enough as it is. You know, she's trying to raise those three boys on her own. I'm sure her friend Natalie helps as much as she can. But Natalie has three girls, you know, herself. She has three kids. So she's trying to, you know, raise her own kids too. And, um, you know, she's, I know her and Brooke are really close. They're birthday twins. They share a birthday. Uh, but... <clears throat> My daughter should not be going through this endless tumult of this troll or that troll just, just having it out for her and for no reason. And uh, so how is she going to feed her babies? How is she going to keep living where she's at? Um, and we certainly aren't even a fraction closer to, to moving her here, you know, to the States because of everything involved in starting that whole process. Um, 
Don't know if Michael knows anything about any of this. Don't know which one of us will finally get lucky enough to get through to tell him. Because he may not know that, uh, you know, one of the kids was in the hospital recently. And, you know, what happened and what was going on. And, you know, but he's home now and hopefully everything's okay. Um, I, I just don't. There's just when, when you're talking about Internet, there's just too many. There's too many people out there that are out to uh, screw you over, cheat you out of your money, or make the circumstances so distu- so stupid that nobody wants to do it. And, you know, they... I hope she finds a website that she can do her shop through that she has control over so that she says what goes on and what don't go on. She can allow things on her shop that TikTok wouldn't allow. Um, she doesn't have to put such restrictions on how she sells her products like TikTok seems to like to do. You know, if you don't sell it a certain way or if you do certain things or you say certain things or you don't see, say or do certain things. In other words, if you don't jump through their hoops, they'll drop you, they'll flag you, they'll ban you, they'll give you bad, you know, uh, reputation or any number of things, and it's and I don't like it. So I think TikTok should be shut down altogether. I sent them a nasty message. Uh, I think it was yesterday, um, telling them why I was canceling my subscription because I don't like the way they're doing my daughter. I don't like the way how you know the uh, trolls keep coming back. They keep giving her grief. They keep taking away my daughter's only source of income that she needs to keep herself fed, keep her babies fed, keep her uh, roof over her head, um, you know, keep her sh- shop going, uh, keep her bills paid. I mean, she can't do any of that through TikTok. So I let them know just exactly how I felt about things. I said, you know, um, actually I had to go with other and I think I had to keep it kind of brief because they only give you a certain amount that you can write. So I don't know how much of it they'll actually see, but uh, one of the categories they give you is you can write other. If they give you a list of categories, you know, why, why are you canceling? And, and it said something about it may, you know, it may get back to the developer because they want to know, you know, supposedly what they can do to improve TikTok and its functions. Well, for one thing, you can get rid of the damn trolls you can set it up to where the person that's using their business through you has more control. Um, stop, you know, banning and flagging when it's not necessary. I mean, I could give them a freaking list of things to not do, and maybe, maybe TikTok could be reputable again. Maybe they could be a good company again, and more people would like, you know, likely come back to them, including me. But with the way they keep doing my daughter, no, I just, I have nothing good to say about them. So I will stick with YouTube. Um, I still haven't had any better luck myself as far as selling any, any of my, any of my resin pieces. And now I'm doing my diamond paintings, but it's, it's one of those, just like with the resin pieces, you got to find the right audience, meaning you got to find the right set of clients the right people that would like those kind of things that would most likely buy them. And then you've got to figure out the pricing. You know, you've got to figure out how much to charge. Um, Cause me, I don't want to overcharge for something and I don't want to undercharge because I need to make a profit too. And I can't very well do that. If you know, if I'm like either overcharging or undercharging because if I overcharge, people aren't going to buy. If I undercharge too much or whatever, then I'm cheating myself out of money. Yeah, money that I need. And right now, one of the few avenues that I've been able to explore was, um, and I'm only going to be able to do two a year, and that is uh, yard sales. Going to be doing a yard sale the 4th, 5th, and 6th of August at my mom's residence because it's Whitehall and they allow you to do two yard sales a year, but you have to follow their restrictions 
you know, or you can't do it. And I've got the form filled out. Um, the first is vastly approaching. Uh, and since we're going to be doing it on the 4th, 5th, and 6th, um, I don't even have the stuff ready that's going to be sold or anything because right now my thought is, it's like, I don't even, even if I did gather the stuff up, I have nowhere to put it. The only place I would have to put it, store it or anything right now would be down in Maria's place. And I really don't want to do that because I've got so much of my stuff down there already. I don't want to just end up taking more stuff down there. And crowding up the, the limited space that she has. Um, I'm trying to be hopeful that it'll go well. And I'll be able to walk away with some decent pocket money. Um, which I just don't know how, that, how much that's going to be or anything. But I hope it's enough to get me by for a while. But, you know, because you're talking yard sale, you got to sell stuff at yard sale prices. So something I might want to get get fifty dollars out of, I'll be lucky to get ten or twenty. Um, so I'm I'm trying not to get too discouraged and get to the point to where I I just turn around and say you know what forget it I'm not even going to do it what's the point? Uh, told one of our neighbors about it. He's not really shown an interest. He's not mentioned anything that he would like to get sold, and you know so I'm not going to bring it up to him again. Um, still haven't gotten a hold of my neighbor Christy, um, right next to us here to see if she had anything, you know, that if she wanted to, cause she has a, she has a stack of diamond paintings herself. Don't have them in frames, just the diamond paintings themselves with all the, you know, excess cut off like I do. And because really there's no point in keeping the excess on. It makes it tacky. So once the painting's done, you cut all the excess off and then it's ready to be framed. Because um, she said something about selling them, you know, a while back because she needed the money. And I was like, okay. I said, you know, we ever do a yard sale or anything, I'll, I'll get them sold for you. I mean, I'll do my best. You know, what kind of pricing do you want for them, you know? And stuff. I was trying to see if it said that there was anybody on, but nobody's on. So, um, she might still be recouping from Brooke, you know, might still be recouping from catching up on the sleep that she missed when she was in the hospital with the baby. And that's understandable. So I, I don't want to pressure her into, you know, getting on the live with me. I just thought maybe it would, it would help her you know, a little bit, because seeing us and be able to hear us and stuff and only respond through the keyboard, because that's the only way you can communicate. Um, but at least the person, you know, at least when she says something, I can verbally respond, you know, to her. Um, but if she don't come on here soon, I might just, I might just go ahead and shut this down and just get on with my day and See if she answers later, maybe, or something, and wants me to get back on. I can always get back on and do another another live, because today is supposed to be my day that I am going to try to round up some yard sale stuff, get it put in some of these boxes that I have around here that I've been saving for that reason. Um, I've still got to get the table and chairs from downstairs at Maria's that I'm going to be using for the yard sale. And after the yard sale is over with, I'm not taking the table and chairs down there to her place anymore because it's um, cluttering up the temple room, which is disrespectful and rude and uncalled for. Um, and I don't like using the temple room the way we were using it because she was developing a bad habit of piling stuff on top of the table. And I've asked her not to do that because that those tables are not designed to have a bunch of weight put on them. They're designed for playing board games. They're designed for playing, you know, card games or, you know, maybe even doing a D and D session, which even if um, I brought the table up here right now, there's really nowhere to set it, let alone uh, uh, be able to set a place for three people to set around the table to be able to work and do something like Dungeons and Dragons. 
So once I get the table up here and I get the chairs back in the truck, they're staying there. Um, because I don't like cluttering up the temple room with such things. And um, I need to get my power circle downstairs, get it cleaned up. Because it's one of those things that if you make the mistake of putting it in the washer, it'll destroy it. It'll shred it. And I don't want that to happen. So it's all dirty. Um, and that's, to me, that's like not, you know, right. So I need to get it cleaned up and, uh, and just put away, you know, just put it back up here somewhere, you know, um, just put it, put it somewhere that the cats can't get to it because I'm not going to make the mistake of putting it on the floor. They'll have it shredded. We were doing our diamond paintings in there for a while in the temple room. And that's why I took the table down there. Cause I figure, you know, we could sit in, I could sit in there in the AC. I could work on my diamond paintings and not worry about my cat getting in my face or trying to get on my lap or bugging me some other way. Um, I could just sit there and do my diamond paintings in peace. And you know, that was, that was a lot of fun for me. But then uh, Maria just literally just, couple of times I went down there, it was like she just took over the whole table. Like she had all her shit sitting around and I didn't have any room to have, you know, put anything of mine. And that's not what I put that table down there for. I didn't put it down there for her, just her. And that's the way, in my opinion, she treated it. She had her freaking speaker sitting on it, her little Bluetooth speaker. She had her, her bottles of beads sitting everywhere. She had this sitting here, this sitting here, that sitting here. Uh, you know, she had, she just took it over and I was like, no, that is not what I put this day down here for. So I'm taking it back and I won't put it down there again. Um, so I'll just have to put up with trying to do my diamond painting somehow in between, you know, and, uh, giving Kalika time on my lap and, you know, things. So and just, just do my paintings up here. And forget about having a place, having a place to do them, where I'm, I won't be disturbed and can actually enjoy working on them. Um, so, Vicky, I don't know when you'll see this, but uh, the rundown is short version is uh, Vicky's little boy, her youngest, was in the hospital a couple days ago. Um, again, I won't go into too many details or anything of why. Um, don't worry, nobody was like beating, beating him or anything like that. But um, he's home now and he seems to be doing okay, so that's good. Uh, but I don't know, you know. <laughs> How far into the future I it might be before I can do a live stream again where Brooke can actually pop on. Because I am trying to give her time to recoup. I know she's probably still trying to figure out where their next meal is coming from. She may have taken the um, additional money that we was able to send her here recently to get some more groceries in the house or something. You know, whatever um, they most need right now that a little bit of money that was sent can provide. Um so, but, you know, hopefully everything's okay, and, and he's still, the little boy's still doing okay, and um, I would go into more detail, but not unless there was a private way to do it, or, you know, I would have to literally sit this live stream for private, and I'm not sure what all that involves, or what I would have to do for the select few, like yourself, Vicki, that I would want to view this video, so that we could talk about more personal stuff and not worry about just anybody seeing it, you know. Um, as far as me, there's there's really really not much going on other than feeling tired like I am. Um, I may have to break down and take a stack or three, which I'm not looking forward to because I've only had a ramen packet, and that's not a lot, uh, ramen noodles. I call it ramen packet because it has a little packet of sauce, you know, that you put in it after you cook the noodles and all this. Um, my uh, doctor 
Dr. Wu has me on a new weight loss med. It seems to be helping. I don't know how much exactly, but it seems to be helping. I'm eating less now. It don't take as much to fill me up. I'm able to stop myself, whereas before I wasn't able to. Um, and, like, you know, keep eating and, and past the point of, okay, you're full. Why are you still eating? Um, so trying to eat very little, you know, or a lot smaller amounts than I ever did. And, of course, as you know, Vicki, I don't know if you know this, but I'm sure you watch the news and stuff. The Ohio State Fair is going on. Um, yesterday was opening day. Uh, today is supposed to be another one of those high heat days where, excuse me, um, that's all I need is the daggone heck of burps. That's where you hiccup and then you burp. It's weird. Um, I don't know that we're even going to go to the fair this year because we've only got really until the 3rd of August to do it because the 4th, 5th, and 6th, we're going to be doing the yard sale at Mom's and the, the Ohio State Fair is going to be gone on the 6th. And, of course, the 6th is also my mom's birthday. She'll be 92. Bless her. Um but today, you know, it's it's another one of those days. It's going to be in the high 90s and this and that. Don't go out in it unless you absolutely have to. Because this this weather is not to play with. It can be extremely dangerous. My stacker fee. I feel like it's probably it's probably the only energy I'm going to have today. Um, she never did answer, so you know, it's looking like she's not going to be able to pop on you this time, so like I said, I don't I don't want to sit on here just, you know, saying a bunch of nothing and not even know what to talk about. Uh, I'm trying to think of something even worth talking about, really. Well, for one, I can't believe that in three months it's going to be October again. Halloween already. Uh <laughs> That another year is just poof gone in the blink of an eye. Before we know it, Thanksgiving and Christmas is going to be upon us again. New Year's, my birthday, and all the birthdays that follow after that. Still longing for my own place that I can use as an office um, and a place that I can do my, you know, astrology, parapsychology stuff, my resin pieces, my diamond paintings, just an apartment, you know, preferably a one bedroom, um, you know, nice area and have the money, you know, to be able to afford it because anymore, if you're not making at least 19,000, uh, I don't know if it's a month, a week, or what the hell anymore, but it's 19000 over a certain period of time. Nobody will even look at you as far as allowing you uh, to rent a place. Because uh, I want a place away from the main house that I can go to when I need my solitude, when I need my... Uh, what I call my me time, alone time, you know, uh, time to meditate, uh, do some more serious like spell work and stuff, um, ritual work that I really can't and don't want to be disturbed while I'm doing it because otherwise it could, something could go wrong. 
and it can backfire and I don't want that either because I don't want anybody hurt in the process and I certainly don't want any repercussions from a spell going wrong because people keep bugging and distracting me and I'm trying to get this magic done. I'm stressing even though I'm hiding it well. Um, I'm stressing about uh, getting my three credit cards paid down. Um, starting with this check. So um, I believe we're going to be getting our checks, as a matter of fact, tomorrow. So here when I get done with this live and decide to shut it down for a while, maybe come back on later, I'm thinking about going on to Brooks' website where you can still purchase things from. And it has nothing to do with TikTok. Um, and see if there's, you know, anything I need to stock up on. Um, and definitely more on the, along the lines of needs than wants right now. Oh, that's so cute. I want it, but I don't really need it, you know. Because I don't know what else to do. But then realistically, I don't know that I can afford to order anything from her anyway right this time because the money the money's just not there. No, yeah, but nobody's on. I let her I let Brooke know that I was live streaming if she wanted to pop on and she hasn't popped on and she never answered, so she must be busy. And it's looking like somebody is trying to take out their payments already because it keeps showing me card declined on my Capital One. So somebody's trying to get their payment. Well, I got news for them. They ain't going to get it because there ain't no money there to get. <coughs> I'm still unhappy in my relationship with Chris. Still working on things as best I can there, but... There's days when I feel discouraged even with that. You know, I feel like I've tried everything I can think of and still haven't made any improvements in the areas I need, you know, um, to make things a lot more pleasant again, you know, and harmonious and all. Um, I would still like to start my own coven, but I just don't know when any of that's ever going to be because I have to think about the people that are most likely going to join, you know, what are, what if they don't have transportation? Where would we even go to do anything like, um, you know, ceremonies, <coughs> rituals, meetings, anything like that, special events, you know, our, our next Wiccan holiday that's coming up is going to be August 1st, which is Lunasa. And if you want to know what Lunasa is about, just look it up. It's spelled L-U-G-H-N-A-S-A-D-H or something like that. It's a weird spelling, but it's actually pronounced Lunasaw, not Lunasod, Lunasaw. It's, um, it's primarily about the great god Lu, L-U-G-H, and I forget exactly what he represents and what he stands for, but let's face it, August is where... It's starting to go into the fall. Um, September, there's no Wiccan holiday, I don't think. No. The next Wiccan holiday after Lunasaw is going to be um, All Hallows Eve, which is Halloween, October 31st. Mm. There's no Wiccan holiday in November. We celebrate Yule in December, which is the 21st, just to give a recap to anybody that might not know what Wiccans consider um, holidays. Um, January, there's no Wiccan holiday. February 2nd is in bulk. It's also Groundhog Day. Um, March 21st is Circa or Ostara. April 30th is Beltane. There's no holiday in May. June 21st is Summer Solstice. There's no holiday in July, and then we're back to Lunasaw again. 
August 1st. So, not sure what I'm going to be doing for Lunasaw. I will try to get on here that day, on the day, August 1st. Because I won't be doing the yards, yard sale yet. So, I might try to get on here and do a ritual using my Wicca Solitary. It's a, it's a, it's my, I call it my big red book. But it's um, the Solitary Witch by Silver Raven Wolf, uh, which I really like. I have a lot of her books. Never met Silver, probably never will. But she's with, uh, I believe, like the Black Forest Coven or something or another. I don't know. But anyway, I've never met her, probably never will. I uh, wish her nothing but wellness and goodness and happiness and all that. Um, but I may, I hear lately when I do a live stream and I do a holiday, I've been trying to use the ceremony out of that book just simply because I never have. And I have a lot of witch books that have the Wiccan holidays in it. So it's nice to do a different version once in a while, just so people could maybe find a version that, Hey, I can do that one. That one's not so complicated. Let me do that one. And then you can, you can always go back, play it, write it down, write down the words, make your own, you know, if you're interested, uh, make up your own ceremony because there's no hard, fast rules saying you have to do it the way the book says. That's merely a suggestion. Add your own stuff if there's something, uh, if you want to make it personal in some way for some personal achievement you've accomplished, great, do it, you know. Um, you can change the words around. You can incorporate different things into it. Just make it your own. There's, there's nothing in the magical rule book which don't exist anyway, saying that, you, oh, no, you got to do it by the book or don't do it at all. No, that's bullshit. The books are made to be guidelines, nothing more. The books are there for people that have done it that particular way as a guide to inspire us to do others or to do our own thing by something based off of what they do, but change it up a bit to make it our own. Oh, um, I'm not sure if Luna Saw is considered one of the harvest um, holidays. I know October 31st is, but October 31st is our new year. That's the witch's new year. That's when a lot of witches celebrate New Year's is October 31st. So October 31st at midnight. Some of us, you know, as far as we're concerned, it's already 2024 on that date and that time. But for the bigger percentage of society, which I've, I, I mean, I have no idea if there's a bigger percentage of witches that do it their way or a bigger percentage of what I call muggles, people that aren't witches or don't follow the path, don't even believe in witchcraft and think it's a bunch of hooey. Um <clears throat> They go by the tradition of December 31st at midnight. Um, so I do it both. I do the witch's new year my own way on October 31st. If I think about it, I will try to incorporate it into um, that ritual or ceremony, especially if I do a live stream about it. Um, otherwise, I'll just do the ceremony itself. And then come December 31st, you know, if I happen to have a live stream going, you know, because December 31st is the traditional new year, then I'll have it, you know, just so you can see how everybody is celebrating it on this end. And it kind of gives you the feeling of being here, but it's only one sided. You know, we can't see you guys. We can't hear you guys. You can only see and hear us. I have resigned. Uh, meaning I have stopped weighing myself with my digital weigh scale in the bathroom because I just, I'm tired of being disappointed and discouraged to, you know, not even bother with the whole weight loss thing because it's taken too long. Um, because I'm already thinking about things like, you know, what are we going to do for the next batch of food? And, you know, we still have a lot of leftovers in the fridge, so... The next couple of, you know, f dinner sessions are probably going to, I'm going to try to do just for myself, unless Chris is doing something particular. You know, I've been trying to do um, leftovers 
make a meal out of the leftovers like I did last night. And I was really proud of myself because last night I only ate, I don't know, I guess it was a little more than half of the portions that I had put on the plate for myself. But then I just suddenly stopped and went, I'm full. I'm actually full. So, okay, I'm not going to, I'm not going to eat anymore. Put all of it together in a container and put it right back in the fridge. So if I eat it again, you know, me, I'll probably just eat it cold because in my opinion, you know, yeah, if, if, then Chris said this too, the thing about heating stuff up over and over, you can only do it so many times and each time you do it, it's going to lose a little bit more of its flavor and it's eventually it's going to taste like, you know, so it's like, yeah, okay, I have, I've nuked this thing enough. I'm just going to throw it in the trash and I'll try, you know, use something else as a, as a, a meal, you know. Um, hope everything's okay with you and your family, Vicki, whatever you see this one. Um, I'm just not sure how far into the future it's going to be before I decide to, you know, come down sometime to Myrtle Beach to have a weekend to myself and get like either one of those little cabins you were talking about. I know you said they were small, but it's okay. If they're small, then I'll just make sure it's just me that comes down, you know, just to have some time to myself. Um, and just to see what Myrtle Beach is all about, because I never got to see Myrtle Beach the last time I went through that section. Uh, we was on the freeway, and it was me, Mom, and Jim, and I was 17 at the time, so I was still a kid, you know. Uh, we never got to go to Myrtle Beach. So, I'd like to see it, you know, walk around a bit, see what it's all about. Um, and then, yeah, you know, absolutely check out some of the hotels as well. And, you know, decide which one I want to stay in, which one is the most cost effective, you know, and then stay in that one. So whenever I do come to have a weekend to myself, it's going to probably be towards the end of the month, you know, because I'll do it on a payday. So I know I've got plenty of money to be able to pay for the room. Definitely have my credit cards paid off by then so I can use one of my credit cards, if nothing else. Because to me, using a credit card for something like that is perfectly plausible and sensible and logical and practical because I'm not using it because I'm going out spending, you know, a bunch of money on a bunch of stuff I don't need. Um, uh, it is a need. It's a need for solitude. It's a need for escape. But trying not to go too far from home because I know Myrtle Beach is probably at least several hours away or a couple hours away. I don't know. It's been so long since I've been around that area. And, you know, we're talking years because <laughs> 17 and I'm 54. So, yeah, that's a lot of years. Uh, I don't know. I, I think I've pretty much run out of things to say. I'm going to go ahead and kill this live and uh, go listen to one of the uh, money drawing um, endless cash flow meditations for a while and figure out what to do with my day. Blessed be. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Um, thanks for sticking with me, you know, and uh, I will see you guys next live, I guess.